Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of Major Carnix Metal Detecting. So I've been out detecting before twice and I found uh, this, which is uh, two very nice shell casings, very nice condition, but I didn't find anything else. And I found these. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm doing my best to find these bomb parts and uh, it was very nice, but uh, Today we're in uh, the Hurtkenwald again on a US position and the first find I got was actually a nail for somewhere. Well, I will show you that in the summary. But have a look at this beautiful, beautiful US World War II belt hook. It was used on uh, the clothing they had and uh, they hang about uh, everything on it. So Very, very cool. I found one before here but it was in terrible shape and this one is in awesome condition. I'm so, so very happy, so very lucky, and let's carry on! And as always, the US World War II rations followed pretty quickly. Let's see if it wants to focus. Lemon juice powder synthetic. Wow, always awesome to find, because then you always know you're in the right spot. Cool find, let's carry on! So at least I have a first again, it's not really that awesome, but yeah, for me it is, it's a heel plate. And uh, I don't know for sure if the Germans and the Americans had both uh, had the heel plates, but uh, at least it's one, and uh, it could be from both, could be from either of them. Awesome, taking it with me. Right, let's carry on. So my friend just found a 50 cal incendiary round, gonna leave it here of course, but it's uh, pretty cool to find. And because I came over to check him, uh, I found this uh, showcasing, which is German. So, this is really nice, we're getting German finds. And uh, yeah, maybe we can find something else as well. So we went off from the US, place, uh, US position a little bit, and we're going there now, but uh, if we keep finding German, it would be awesome. Right, let's carry on. So I just found another belt hook, but it's in terrible, terrible state. We've been digging for hours now, but uh, the finds are very slim because we were, uh, as always, second in line. Somebody else dug there as well. So let's hope we can find something beautiful next. Let's carry on. So, my next find is a US buckle. And I've never found this one before, not with the thingy here. We're still finding bits and bobs, but not really filmable stuff. But uh, it's great. Have a look at that. Wow, really, really awesome find this one. Right, let's carry on. So, my friend and colleague just found a US World War II boot over there. Still have to determine if it's really, really World War II, but it sure seems like it. And uh, yeah, I just found a surface find. Let me see if I can focus it for you. Have a look at this. These are US World War II um, pouch buttons. And it, they are amazing. Look at this. Wow. It normally says uh, Star Pool or it has some other things as well on it. And uh, wow, absolutely love them. They're not in such a good condition, but. Look at this. Oh wow, the cloth is still on there. See? Still has some cloth on it. Cloth, 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 cloth. Not a native speaker. Wow, oh, have a look at this. Wow, I have to do this carefully. Still a lot of stuff on there. Look at this. What a find. Really, really happy with that. Look at this beautiful, ooh, beautiful, beautiful find. Bloop. Wow, I wonder if there's more. Oh yeah, there's more. Oh, sorry for the shaking. Wow, this is the strap, look at this. Wow. This is the strap, it's in terrible condition. But at least it's here. Look at that. What the fetch? Well, this is one part of it. Small part of it. Wow. 
just on the surface. Nobody else just found it here because we're definitely second here. Well, I think that's it, but look at this. Awesome, awesome, awesome find. Let's carry on. So, look at that fox all there, huh? They're everywhere here, but uh, my next find is very nice. It's part of a cleaning rod for the M1 Garand, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. It's a personal find for me. I love it. I found one uh, not far from here. And uh, it's a very, very great. Look at this. Awesome, awesome finds now. Let's carry on. Unfortunately, I have to go, so this will be my last find. It's a coin, and I'm, I was so hoping it was an American coin, but it's unreadable, damaged. So, so unfortunate, but yeah, uh, would have been nice. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely be back here for next time. All right, bye bye. Welcome with this episode summary. Let's start with the first roll of rations. We have a lemon juice, lemon juice, lemon juice, coffee, coffee, coffee. As I think, or is this lemon juice? Doesn't matter, it's awesome. Uh, tell something about uh, the US Army and uh, how they stayed there. We have this uh, big, beautiful 50 cal, and we have this nice, very, very nice 30 cal. Look at the condition. That's why I took it. It's so beautiful. We have this uh, not so nice conditioned German shell casing, but they have it. The numbers are quite clear on it. It's a German shell casing. Put it back. Then we have two US uh, Mills um, straps. This one is in pretty good condition. I will do some electrolysis on it to, to see if it will fade, but uh, I'm afraid it will break. So maybe. Maybe not. We have some kind of pack, tent pack. We have a U, uh, no, a British um, bomb. It's a 222B. Let's see if I can find it. It's or at least it's a fuse of a bomb. Here you can see it. 222B, 1R, and then it says 3AQ or something. And it's a it's a British uh, fuse, part of a fuse. This is also. Uh, part of a British bomb, and it says number 119. And we have a um, ceramic part of a wall socket, I guess it's called. And uh, it could be World War II, found it in the woods. Uh, and uh, ceramic wall sockets are before World War II as well, so it could be. We have part of the M1 Koran cleaning kit. Which is also very, very awesome. Personal find. We have a, a fork in four pieces. But I don't know if it's World War II. It says. Let's, have a, let's see if it, I can show you. It says lumen here. So I guess it says aluminum or aluminium or whatever. And uh, yeah, might be from the time frame, but it might also not be. Um, I've got this buckle, old buckle, which I broke, so that's not very nice. It went uh, bad in my back. Got the coin, nothing on it. We have the um, heel frame for probably a German soldier. And we have the this one, which is very, very nice. It's a chin strap from a US World War II helmet, and I didn't even know it. Had to look it up. Look at this beautiful thing. It's straight off the helmet. Maybe I will find it one day. Then we have the bazooka shield. It's always nice to clean those as I've learned from History Secrets. And on this one you can see 1944, sorry. And I cannot find it at the moment. But uh, yeah, it says 1944 MA0. MA10 or something like that. And we have the parts of the probably maybe a US field bottle. I couldn't find this part of the field bottle, and the field bottle has two of those and two uh, of them buttons. So, yeah, I don't know for sure, but I think it is. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode uh, summary and uh, this episode in total. 
at least I did digging for it. Sm a lot of small relics, no big ones, but uh, yeah, it's always nice to find something of the war. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye bye.